Jerusalem, Reuters, President Donald Trump announced on Wednesday that the United States recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and that it will move its embassy to the Holy City. In doing so, Trump is breaking with longtime U.S. policy and potentially threatening regional stability, despite warnings from Western and Arab allies. Why is President Trump planning to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and move the embassy there? There has long been pressure from pro-Israel politicians in the United States to move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, and Trump made it a signature promise of his campaign during the 2016 presidential election. It is a decision that will likely be popular with many conservative and evangelical Christians in his political base. Many of them support political recognition of Israel's claim to the city. Vice President Mike Pence and David Friedman, the ambassador to Israel appointed by Trump, are thought to have pushed hard for both recognition and embassy relocation. Why does Jerusalem play such an important role in the Middle East conflict? Religion, Politics, and History Jerusalem is a city that is sacred to three of the great monotheistic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and each has sites of great religious significance there. It has been fought over for millennia by its inhabitants, by invading Romans, Crusaders, Ottomans, and the British Empire, and by the modern states of Israel and its Arab neighbors. Israel's government regards Jerusalem as the eternal and indivisible capital of the country, although that is not recognized internationally. Palestinians feel equally strongly, saying that East Jerusalem must be the capital of an eventual Palestinian state. The city even has different names. Jews call it Jerusalem or Yerushalayim and Arabs call it Al-Quds, which means the Holy. But the city's significance goes beyond the two parties most immediately involved. At the heart of Jerusalem's old city is the hill which is known to Jews across the world as Har Habayat, or Temple Mount, and to Muslims internationally as Al-Haram Al-Sharif, or the Noble Sanctuary. It was home to the Jewish temples of antiquity but all that remains of them above ground is a restraining wall for the foundations built by Herod the Great. Known as the Western Wall, this is a sacred place of prayer for Jews. Within yards of the wall, and overlooking it, are two Muslim holy places, the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which was built in the 8th century. Muslims regard the site as the third holiest in Islam after Mecca and Medina. The city is also an important pilgrimage site for Christians, who revere it as the place where they believe that Jesus Christ preached, died, and was resurrected. What is the city's status now and does any other country have an embassy in Jerusalem? When British rule ended in 1948, Jordanian forces occupied the old city and Arab East Jerusalem. Israel captured East Jerusalem from Jordan in the 1967 Middle East War and annexed it in a move not recognized internationally. In 1980 the Israeli parliament passed a law declaring the complete and united city of Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel, but the United Nations regards East Jerusalem as occupied, and the city's status as disputed until resolved by negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians.